I'm here with Cam with the Ram. We have a very exciting video today. We are visiting a really good friend of mine, Mark Jeffcoat. You guys have seen his truck plenty of times on my channel, but this is what we did today. Look at that. That looks so good. But this video is gonna actually be really, really different and interesting because he bought a brand new Duramax. So let's go check it out. Yeah, I know, that's rough, ain't it? All right, guys, so what had happened was uh, files got corrupted. So this is part two, walking around, uh, doing a walk around of Mark's truck. How many miles did you have when you received this truck? 144 miles. And they delivered it to you? They delivered it, had it delivered. Wasn't going to sit in a dealership. Nice. The, the old one drove out, and yeah. this one drove in two hours later. Man, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it with <laughs> selling and then buying a new one that quick. Whenever Mark makes up his mind, he'll sell his vehicle like that and then buy a new one like that too. No attachment. No, the other one, I, it, it did. I, yeah. I had it five years. I, I, it was built once. Yeah. I did it, you know, the second time. It did its round. It shows. It, it won. I feel it, you know, it served its purpose for yeah. me, but time for a change yeah he got yeah. tired of winning all those trophies people want to see new stuff so that's right let's do it this truck came uh with paint matched fenders which was an extra from the dealership they normally come black but do you know how much extra that is it's a 650 650 There's good 650 they can't order them but i think it was like a six to eight weeks out and then all of right. course you have to take them off break the other clips a little aggravating they are aggravating to put in so it was a lot easier just right to, just get it yep and it was already, already on the truck so i wanted the truck so i had exactly. no choice you guys know we'll do a quick walk around i mean this is like a typical 2020 denali nothing really special just yet um i've done a test drive on the 2020 denali so you guys probably have seen all the features but white vehicle with black interior which i love a lot i've always wanted black interior something that a lot of you guys don't know is like Yes, black leather does get hot, but if you have actual leather, it actually doesn't absorb heat like vinyl. It doesn't get as hot as people think. Denali, it's got cooled seats anyway, so. Plenty of room in the back. Oh yeah, plenty of room in the back. Uh, for reference, we'll get our buddy over there, Cam, who is 6'4", to sit inside, just to show you guys how big the, the, the back seats are. Cam, round two. Sorry, I was looking at trucks. He's I'm about 6'4", 200 and... 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Yay, great. Let's do the whole thing here. You ever get deja vu? Yeah, something like that. All right. <laughs> whoop, whoop, and dump, dump. <laughs> there we go, boom. There you go. Man, there's a lot of room in here. Great. And a bunch of girls. All this big room. And it's got a little <laughs> cutout for his head. <laughs> Can't yeah. be, man, but the smell of the new trucks and the leather is just... It's a great smell. Buddy. Man, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful smell. How many miles you got on now? Now... Uh, 800. Okay, still nothing. Yeah. Hasn't even broken a thousand. Listen to this. It's had it about three, going on three weeks. Wow. Oh, this is the third week. And then we're, you said you're going to color match that little step right there. Yeah, we're going to color match the trim here, the bottom piece, and then here, of course, you can do if you're not going to be doing anything stepping on right. it, but I'm going to use mine for a step, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a 2020 Denali. Yes, we've all seen it, but the main reason why we're here is because if you guys know Mark, he's not gonna leave this truck alone. He's already looking at parts, ordered parts. So this is this build's actually gonna go really fast. As soon as we get the parts in with the coronavirus, everything's delayed, everything is four to six weeks out. But as soon as we get all the parts, hopefully by the what the first of the year, you're gonna get it basically done. If you guys have seen his old truck, go to his Instagram and look at he's done. Um, I'll put some links to our previous videos. Vlog bumper on. He helped me put the vlog bumper on. I mean, his truck it was very meticulous. He always touched up every little rock chips. Uh, he would go under his truck and touch it, touch it up, and do a full wash and detail once a week. So that's why I'm really excited for this build because I, I just know how uh, attention to detail he is. Yeah. So let's basically tell everybody some of the plans we have for this truck. Well, the plan for this truck is we're gonna paint match everything on the truck with fast headlights. We're gonna be doing the mirrors and the headlights colored match. As we said, the side steps, we are doing a seven to nine inch. Not sure which, which way we're going right. or what company we are. Uh, as we speak, we're having rims being custom made. 
Custom made. Not saying who the company is yet. I don't want to give it all away, but we're gonna be we're gonna be up in the air and we're gonna be clean. Right, and we're then gonna, we're gonna go pick them up too. We'll pick up the wheels. We should I should say we're gonna pick up the build and JW is gonna be along for the journey with me. He's gonna help me from start to finish. You see it start and oh, yeah. we're gonna from the ground up. We're gonna document the whole build on my channel you guys know that i want to do a 2020 build but i just haven't pulled the trigger yet but we have our buddy mark here and he has a 2020 so why not help him build this truck it'll help in a way fulfill my desire of wanting a 2020 duramax i really am excited because mark knows how to build really nice looking trucks are we gonna do crazy colors again no crazy colors crazy color changing lights no nothing no. nothing like that maybe just some white rock lights just a, a clean look maybe white suspension maybe blue maybe red i don't know yeah. i changed my <laughs> mind quite a bit and on a heart you know on a heartbeat it'll it'll change and hey, i i want to do this and before you know it it'll be something else can i tell but, them about the seven phone calls that you've made whether if you want to do a level or a lift yes you can <laughs> in the in the past two weeks mark called me like you think about seven times or more probably more than probably that. more he, he couldn't decide if he wanted to do level so one day he would want to do leveled and then it, i mean it's it's actually my fault because i would send him pictures of lifted ones and then he would change his mind and then i would send him pictures of leveled ones again <laughs> and then he would go back to wanting leveled so but we finally decided on a lift and wheel tire setup so there's no turning back around no no turning back around yeah, so. it's, it, it's hard it was kind of it was new i didn't know if i wanted to go you know a lift and then seeing other lifted trucks like right. looking now like no i just don't want to be you know level level so that's that's uh set in stone now right like we'll have a lift on it because he looked at jack's truck and he was like you know level and stance doesn't look too bad and then he looked at 2020 Denali. His lifted truck, and he was like, well, maybe I do want to lift it. Your video helped me. It, it pushed it over the yeah. edge. Oh yeah, of, of when, I, yes. when, I, when I met up with him in Atlanta. Sal has his Duramax, right? 2020. We're gonna be documenting every single thing. Uh, first thing he is doing is color matching the the tow mirrors and the headlights what are you doing with the headlights the headlights are just going to be it's going to be all white all white we're going to paint white inside oh of it's going to be white we're doing white okay and then we're going to of course the amber just just this part we're going to paint it white we're leaving the hd chrome okay so to kind of draw your eyes still to the light you know instead of just completely white it out okay that's really all we're going to tell you guys for now. Hit the subscribe button, stay tuned for this build to actually see what we're going to be doing. But that's the first thing, getting the color match headlights and the tow mirrors. Because um, right now, the lift kits, wheels, tires, you just have to wait. With the coronavirus, everything's about four to six weeks. Um, yeah, wheels are four to six weeks yep. being made. Yeah, and the wheels are going to be taking a while, so there's no point of getting the lift kit now and then waiting on the wheels. Um, that'll just be funny. You know, the lifted truck with stock wheels, it'll just be funny. He's gonna get it all done. So first of the year is the plan for getting it all lifted. So hit that subscribe button because we're gonna be documenting every single journey of this truck. And I'm excited. I might buy 2020 after <laughs> after this build. And we finish this one, I'll show you this one. Hey! Maybe. Maybe. So Maybe. you can start over there you on, go. with a Chevy, with a high country. <laughs> and we have a special guest. Mr. Duan, the That's Black right. Mamba. He went to Utah, which I'm super jealous. He got to go <laughs> hang out with the Flog Boys. Yep, yep. Got the Flog Bumper on my truck. He's got Flog Bumper on his truck now. So let's go take a look at his bumper. I haven't seen it in person, so I'm excited. It's something special, especially a 1500 with yeah. Flog Bumper. Oh, and you're the first, first person. Right. That's one right. One of one. One of one. On the front and rear. Re really? Yeah. Nice. Yep. So. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right, let's go. Oh, he's got a cop car now, or yeah. cop SUV. <laughs> it's it's the next build, so shh. Dude, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> you, you just bought a new truck last year. But it's burgundy and they have it in stock. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Bad decisions. But, 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 but it, it's, only, uh, it, it's only 56. But it, is it a Cummins? Oh, 
Yeah. Uh, mm. All right. Yeah. Five thousand likes and Cam's gonna buy it. Yeah, I will. I will show up. I don't believe yeah. you that it's a real cop car. So you gonna? Can you prove it to me? Oh yeah, but it, you got you got it. It's kind of dirty right now because we've been kind of living uh, out of driving back and forth. Oh good. Uh, so yeah, it's got the lights. Um, got the whole laptop and everything in there. Yeah. It's really mid. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> hey, we've already had an incident in the neighborhood. We had about 50 cops that was on the news. Lord, no. Oh, the, man. The guy in the uh, back of the neighborhood. Yeah. I, well, I did some work for him. He, um, he, uh, I guess he was working for having a domestic dispute and um, they called the cops and he shot a cop. He shot a cop and oh, then he wow. barricaded himself in the house. My whole backyard, but there was like 50 of them. In this neighborhood? Oh, you, when we yeah, got yeah. to the back. Yeah. He's the one that was on the news, Bo, and he had a standoff for like 13 hours. Oh, wow. And then he was, Bo, they finally got him out. He had two bullets left. He said, I'm going to shoot Charles Robot. He was drunk. Oh, and he man. changed his heart medicine. I don't know. He spun out anyways. He shot the cop in the chest. But we shot the robot, and they tear gassed it, destroyed the house. I'm fixing all the vinyl siding. Fixing all the shit. <laughs> I'm doing all the Denali money. I feel bad for his wife, but Bo. They were lined. I'm talking about from here to here. They had the big SWAT tank hanging yeah. on the side. Oh man! In oh, your in your neighborhood? In the convoy in the back in oh, the back man. of the neighborhood. How long was that? What was that? That was um. Yeah, he was in what? Maybe three months. Oh, three months. months? No, ago? no, a couple weeks ago. Uh, a couple the weeks last ago? holiday. What was that? Uh, Labor Day. Labor Day. Yeah. Labor Day. Oh, Labor wow. Day weekend. Oh yeah. wow. Because Lee sent me the link to it where he was talking. Yeah. 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 He said the link. Yeah. So they had. Oh, he should have said something about the shark. Shark hits. Yeah. They had the news right. The news was on this corner. My buddy, I was cooking. He was like, I can't get in the neighborhood. I said, these burgers are good. Save me a burger because they had the roads blocked off. Oh really? You couldn't enter here. Oh wow. They had all blocked off. So the news was here and we were out here swimming. Amy's family was here. And you could see the kids on top of the little water fountain jumping and doing flips. Because the, the news was facing that way. You could see all the kids. <laughs> They're famous. They're famous. They're like, we see the kids in uh, Aubrey and y'all jumping on the trampoline. It was like, no. That's, yeah, there's a jumping. standoff and the kids are just jumping in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, the news was just going. It was on the news. You could see, you see my little girl's hair. <laughs> so yeah, things are really serious out here. There's 50 cop cars, and then you see little kids jumping in the pool. <laughs> kids are having a blast. Kids <laughs> are having phenomenal fun. Uh, I'm telling you, I got I got video of the cops out there loading their oh, really? ARs and rock boats. God. Oh yeah, they were out there getting down. Where'd y'all Where'd y'all get this? They had this in front of the truck. Oh okay okay. <laughs> Man, that cracked me up coming up here. So yeah, Duan's got a newer body style 1500 than mine. Uh, Flog hasn't made. So Flog's bumper really is only for 2500s. Well, they only made them for 2500s up until his truck. So this is one of one uh, Flog Industries off-road bumper for a GM 1500. Uh, 2014 up until till 2018. So there we go. Excuse it being dirty. We did drive it all the way down here from North Carolina, so True. it's a little dirty. It's called the Street Demon Series. Yeah, it's got the matching rear bumper. I don't know. It's like like you said, it's just one of one. Mm -hmm. um, they go on sale soon, so hit vlog up for okay. your needs. We got the color matched uh, Einstein pod lights. It looks amazing. Oh, and, and they have the trim pieces for the uh, grill and the light pockets, but they're still in development. So right. they're supposed to be sending me those as soon as they can. Okay. Looks good. I so like it. So my question to all y'all is, should I color match the bezel of my grill black and then paint the center red, or should I do something totally different? Yeah, leave a comment below. What yeah. should he do? Put all spikes on the bottom. They all chrome. Yeah, drove all the way to Utah. Uh, Good 34 Lord. hours. Jesus. 34 hours one way. So 40, say 4,400 miles. 64 hour round trip. Awesome trip. Yeah, if you guys want to see more of this truck, make sure to follow him on his Instagram page. 
Yep. Crazy guy, crazy road trips. <laughs> oh yeah, all the time. Next week we're supposed to be at Myrtle Beach. Good lord. The week after, I think we're doing some stuff in on the eastern part of the state. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Do you even go to shows? Oh uh, no, I don't really show that much. Do, does he even go to shows? <laughs> He's got all those stickers and look, look, look. I got one. <laughs> Daytona. <laughs> I got one sticker that I kept. And, and, and I, and I look wish at I went to Daytona. Oh yeah. Hey, I got you beat on that one. <laughs> I'm impressed with the bumper. The bumper turned out amazing. Right. And this is a prototype too, so they're probably going to make a few minor adjustments. Absolutely. On oh, mine, uh, I'll notice on yours too, it doesn't say vlog on the side. It does. Does it? On the yeah, other side? On or? the other side. Okay, so mine don't. Okay. I put my vlog. Oh, okay. Under the bottom. Okay. So his vlog is right there, whereas my vlog is, well, right here and right there overall my bumper is just a bigger bumper because it's a 2500 just like um, my hooks are different uh, i have three bolts that hold the bumper um, he's got two which this design is a little bit different because mine i had to get rid of my plastic piece on the 2500s you also get rid of the plastic piece so uh, for whatever reason, they de they decided to put the bumper underneath it. And the reason he said he did that was yeah. because on yours, yours is pretty straight. Yeah. On ours, it's more bends uh, and curves. So they even if you look right here, it's curved. Yeah. Um, they weren't able to make all of them curves. It'd yeah. be crazy how expensive it would be to. Exactly. Make all them. You know, that actually makes a lot of sense because every single 1500 bumper that I've seen, it all they all go under. Yep. Under the uh, the plastic piece, and I guess there's a perfectly good reason for that. Yeah. Amazing crew. Like I work with a lot of companies. Yeah. And between them and a couple others, they're one of the best companies to work right. with. Yeah. They're phenomenal. They treat you like family. A, a little side note: Friday we were supposed to install the bumpers. Well, it had a little hiccup with the uh, paint shop. Right. So they left my truck without bumpers. Nate actually threw me the keys to his personal truck. Oh, nice. To drive for the evening. The big truck? No, not the big truck. Oh, okay, the okay. Other, it was called, they call it Sugar. Okay. But since uh, I drove it, we now call it Big Sugar. Big Sugar? Big, big Sugar. This is a little inside joke. Uh, you have to ask Nate about that. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody go to Flogs. Uh, Instagram page yes. and call them Big Shugs on their latest picture. Just, Absolutely. Just to, just to confuse Nate a little bit. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Nate's like, going to be like, Big Shug, Shug right? Yeah, yeah. So let's get about 50 comments on their uh, new, newest picture. Just go call yeah. them Big Shug. Big Shug. There you go. <laughs> hey, check out the rear bumper because oh, this yeah. one, it's one of one as well. Because I don't even have rear bumper on mine. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. Factory bumper? Aftermarket bumper. Oh yeah, that definitely looks really good. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, you see the trim plate? Oh shoot! That's that's custom right there. I need to I need to do a rear bumper on mine. I just ran out of funds, I guess. <laughs> oh, and that's a shark tail um, flagpole hitch, which I have a flagpole in the bank. So basically, you got your bottle opener. You can oh, that is, that is so essential. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Tailgating, absolutely. So basically, you put the flagpole here. You don't have to drill no holes in your bed. Right. You don't have to worry about it breaking over or All anything. Right. And he's coming out with attachments like uh, umbrella. I think one's going to be a okay. swing type deal. And actually, he's coming out with a dual flagpole. So you have to fly two flags at once. So all that's coming soon. If you're going to fly an American flag, Absolutely. You're going to need a bottle opener too. Absolutely. Right. Especially 4th of July. Oh, yeah. Labor Day. Oh, yeah. Nice. So we have four kicker. Excuse the, the flag poles and stuff right here. But you have four kicker, eight inch um, marine speakers. You got a standalone radio back here. The first aid kit is actually your fuses and relays, uh, two air compressors for your airbags and your train horns. Right. Uh, two chrome air compressors plus a black air compressor under the truck. So a total of 12 gallons worth of air. Yeah, this truck so, is loud. Yeah. 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 Super loud and uh, you don't ever run out of air. No, never. 